Hey guys, it's Beats Here Plumbing here, and today I'm going to be doing a video of the cooler stand well. And something funny, since this blowout, the pipe, there's no bends, it goes straight. And what happened is, see, this box, I have it here for a reason. Because when I flushed it, it sprayed water, like, directly out. I'll show you. Let me turn the pressure down. I mean, it's hilarious. So, I'll show you guys um, that. And I turned up the pressure a lot, and then it actually swirls. But watch, when I flush it... See, it'll spray out the back and it's flushing. And see, now it's weak because the flushometer is closing. But see, this is a toilet flushometer, not a urinal flushometer. So actually what it's doing, it's not flushing still. It's slowly closing to let the water refill the bowl. But since this is a urinal, it's different. But as you guys saw, that sprayed everywhere. And that's why it's all soaked over here and like on the wall. I don't know if you can see it's all wet. That's, that's why I put this box here. And even the box doesn't stop it. It's, instead of the box, instead of it spraying out, it'll spray straight up, which you guys can see. I'll show you that um, after this, but I haven't turned this thing pressure all the way up, but it's really cool because when you turn the pressure up enough, it'll swirl inside the bowl. But let me just check the tank here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let it fill for a little bit longer, but again, that is pretty funny. <laughs> My cat was scared the first time. Um, but it is really cool when you turn the pressure up because it swirls a lot, which I actually really like. Um, let me check the tank. Okay, this should be enough for a flush, but here we go. Whoa! See it? Now it's, um, let's see. It's still trying to flush a little bit because, again, this is a toilet flushometer on a urinal, but... As you can see, even the box doesn't stop it, it'll go spray up straight up in the air, and it's kind of like a fountain now. Everything's all wet. Um, I could probably try fixing it. Let me see, if I put this here, um, that pressure wasn't all the way up. Once it's all the way up, it will, um, let's see, once the pressure's all the way up, it'll start swirling. Yeah, I don't think I can fix this problem. And see, I'm going to put pipes on it, because I can't have it spray anything like that, which... This is actually really funny, and I didn't know it would do that. But I guess I should have thought, because the pipe, like, if I put my finger in the trapway, I could make it come out the other end, because like I said, it's just one straight pipe. So, um, yeah, I'll do another flush. Let me just turn the power up a little bit more, and let's see if I can get this thing to swirl, because this swirl is actually really cool looking. Let's see. Okay, now it should swirl. Let me just check the tank. Again, see, I don't know if that's going to hold or not. It, I'm going to flush it and stand back like this because I don't know if it's going to spray up or not. Um, and the only reason I don't have my tripod is because it's on the grass and because if it sprays, it's kind of hard to move and everything. But uh, let me check the tank. Alright, even though it looks wobbly, it's because it's on a plastic container. But it should be fine. So, um, yeah, let's give it a flush. Okay, it starts to swirl. There it goes. That's really cool because see when it's when it's slowing down, the flush gets a little bit weaker. And see, there's still a whole lot of water in the tank, but um, I didn't turn it up quite enough for it to completely swirl like as soon as you start to flush. But again, that's actually it's actually really cool how it flushes. And once I get the actual, you know, spud for this, this is the Albrook spud. But um, that time it didn't spray up, so I'm not too worried about it anymore. But um, again, see I have this pipe. Someone wanted me to bucket flush it, but there's no point because it's blowout. But if I put this pipe on the back, maybe it'll uh, be like kind of like a trap, a half of a trap way. So it might siphon out. I don't know, but um, yeah, the tank should be full enough. I just, since I have the pressure all the way completely turned up now, I want the tank to be completely full for the best flush. But um, yeah, this is crazy. I mean, it sprayed everything, so. The tank should be full enough, so let's see if it'll swirl. As you can see, the tank wasn't full enough for a full entire flush, but it starts swirling, and that's with the pressure all the way up. And again, it would be a whole lot more powerful if I didn't have this, you know, because this is the Albrook spud, and I don't have the correct vacuum tube for the... You know, I don't have a cracked vacuum tube for the stand well, so I'll have to order one. But let me move the box and then I'll do one more flush without the box. I mean, I'm not going to let the tank fall away because I don't want it to spray everywhere. 
But, um, yeah, here we go. Whoa! Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's really crazy, so, um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave all your comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. We crush. That's about in garden hose pressure. Bye.